Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today is Wednesday, December 9th. Uh, green day for us today, plus 548, which is good. Green is always good. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is we were up uh, a little over 1200 bucks, almost 1300 bucks at one point and gave some back, but still green. So let's break this down. Had three runner, uh, three mighty 90s, all three winners, 100 bucks in Facebook, 156 in Apple, 163 in Beyond. No pairs trades today. Uh, in the runners, we had five trades. Uh, our biggest winner, our monster, was Facebook. Booked over a thousand bucks on that runner. AMD got us for 408. Amazon we took out 240. Beyond got us for 595, and Piton got us for 118. So let's break this down. I'll show you what we did. Starting with, uh, let's start with the mighty 90s, and we'll start with Facebook. So Facebook uh, made this initial push up. We actually started getting short right in this, in this area. It pushed well up against us and then it finally rolled back over. So we were able to book a small profit, $100 profit on that. Similar trade, we were in this uh, Apple trade, similar time we entered a little bit later, uh, which helped us. And so when it rolled over, we booked a little bit more, 156. And then in beyond, uh, same thing. We were very, very patient, patient, patient. This thing kept pushing. Got short up here and just caught this little down move back towards the pivot for 163. So those are our mighty 90 trades, all winners. Uh, let's start and then let's go to Facebook for our runner. This is our, our biggest winner of the day. So like I showed you, Facebook made that initial push up. We cut a little bit of this down move and then this thing just kept grinding lower all the way back down to lows of the day. Started consolidating uh, near the low of yesterday and near the low of today. And so that's where we got short and this thing just pushed lower. We, we rode this thing all the way down to right here uh, before it bounced. Closed it out at that point. Uh, it bounced up to the pivot. I was, I was considering getting short again, but thought the market may rebound. Now, in hindsight, we know that did not happen and this thing kept on going down, but still caught a nice runner to the downside in Facebook. In AMD, this is when we were looking at uh, the market potentially rebounding and AMD got really strong, started consolidating after this big push. We were looking for a continuation higher. That did not happen. It came down, so it flushed us out. So we took a loss in AMD. Uh, Amazon, uh, we took a runner in. And this one, um, I, was, I was looking to scale into more size. I actually only got filled on, only got in one contract. Had this push lower, just was consolidating. Uh, uh, very bearish uh, price action got short in this area and then ended up getting filled right here i was i was wanting to hold it you know closer to the lows of the day but i put it in an order and it, and it did get it got hit uh, actually i think it was on this one yeah i was on this one here on this little push lower got hit right here uh so you only had one contract so just booked a 240 dollars profit on that uh beyond this runner got us for 595 this is my biggest loser and what happened here is after this big push up and it pulled back. So right after we got out of our mighty 90 pullback here, uh, we were we were trying to get long as it pulled back to this pivot. And I pulled a genius move of trying to buy calls and I accidentally bought puts. So when it started bouncing and I was looking at my P&L and, 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 and it was going down, that's when I realized what I had done. So I just closed it out right away. Anytime you make a mistake like that, just close it out and move on. Uh, you know, you, you may have a tendency to want to hold on and see if it just potentially comes back. Uh, but the best thing to do is just to get out. Um, and so that's what I did. So I took a little loss on that. And then uh, when it came back down to this pivot, I ended up getting, uh, I did buy calls and I did the right thing this time. I actually got the calls instead of puts. Uh, it pushed against uh, right here, a little bit, bounced up fairly quickly and then pushed up above this pivot. Got out of some. We had a really nice profit overall in this trade at this point, and then this thing just rolled over. We ended up getting out when it broke the lows of this this price point here, so it took a loss of 595 and beyond. And then Peton, Peloton, uh, we uh, kind of a similar opposite to Facebook. This thing started off weak and pushed all the way back up to the highs, started consolidating in positive territory. We got long right here and really quick caught this huge push up got out of most of our position and um and then we we're still just holding like a quarter of the position it came back down we added to it thinking it was going to push higher again and as we know it just kind of fell apart so we ended up closing out 
uh, down here taking uh, and ended up taking a loss on the trade. We had a really nice profit, uh, but you know when the market fell apart, everything just kind of started coming down. So we took a small loss of 118 on Piton. Overall, plus 548 for the day. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. We'll be streaming live in our Discord uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. So at the market open, look forward to seeing you then. Cheers.